This is the header install on the 2009 Pontiac G8 with a 3.6 liter. Basically what I've done so far is I got the heat shield and I have the cat uh, pipe removed from the driver's side. We had to cut out the heat shields because they on top of the manifold because they would not, we could not get them out at all. This is what's kind of left of them. We were able to use tin snips. Basically everything to this point I've been able to use just your basic hand tools, so that hasn't been too difficult. Just need some penetrating oil and a few other tools to make it a little easier. Okay, I now have all the bolts off of the manifold. I just gotta manage to feng shui this thing out. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna have to go from the top or the bottom quite yet, but we'll see here. This little install tip here, the dipstick tube goes probably like uh, however it lined up here. I was just basically ended up just pulling on it and yeah, it pops out. I wasn't too sure if it did or not. So you'll, do, you'll probably have to line it up from the bottom when you put the uh, Camaro header back on, but now this should pop out. Okay, here we go from underneath. Pardon my really bad camera angles and stuff, because trying to do this one-handed has not been fun. But yeah, you'll see I'll have to kind of just feng shui it and keep to moving it and twisting it around so you can get it through, but it will pop through eventually. It's just hard to film and do this by yourself. <laughs> Basically, I had to end up turning it so the flange that was actually poked up to where the cat goes, I have to spin it so it's facing towards the outside of the car, then it'll fall through here. Like so. Oh, hooked on wires. And there, that's the driver's side. All ready for the header. Here you have the stock, stock manifold out. You'll want to take out your O2 sensor, which is basically just a 7 8 wrench, then you'll have to, if you're going to be running O2 sensors and not cutting, uh, get them tuned out right away, you'll have to splice this wire and add a, like a foot or two. But yeah, here's the stock little manifold, one of the heat shields on the bottom that made things uh, a bit difficult to get at. Alright, just kind of getting a mock-up on the header here, just got one bolt in just to see how it's going to fit. One thing I'm noticing though is you're going to have to definitely do some cutting of the old system or just completely take it off, the midsection completely off. But it looks like everything is going to fit pretty nice. And it should be, yeah, should be good. I just have to cut pretty much just before the O2 sensor just to be safe or yeah, just before that O2 sensor it's gonna yep this is basically the stock versus the uh, V6 Camaro header yeah should hopefully wake my G8 up a bit right here what I'm gonna do is basically cut the, some of the stock system and basically we cut in uh, where just before that sensor is so we can actually hang the header because you can see it's it almost will fit but yeah basically once we got the cat off through the use of swivels and just brute force we were able to get down to this one middle uh, bolt and yeah just cheater piped it off this back one yet we still have to figure mm -hmm. out and the front one we might have to end up dropping the alternator we'll see it okay we got the driver's side on and tightened up gasket on just have to tighten up that starter wire and basically they fit pretty good got them all tightened after a couple heat cycles we'll definitely have to retighten them but otherwise they look good clean up the engine bay quite a bit they're not hanging overly too low either pretty good Basically the easiest way to get that front one off is going to be taking the alternator on. 
Otherwise, you can use the open end of a wrench and slowly twist it off. We're still trying to get the very back one on the bottom off. Not having too much luck. Might have to pop the, looks like a coolant line off. Not too sure yet. Basically, how we got that back bottom bolt was we took a half inch socket and literally ground the piss out of it. Pretty much just to give it some leverage. Try to get it as even as possible. We managed to get it to work like this, but yeah, that's how we did it. There's probably an easier way, but this is what worked for us. Okay, basically we had to remove this sensor here just to get the header passed. This is on the passenger side, very tight fit, but it looks like it's finally gonna be going on. The drivers are passenger side all done. Basically we were able to get all the bolts pretty much on. The only problem we did have was that back bottom one and it that pipe down there we still we weren't able to get it completely all in we have it like half in but it's locked tight so it should stay where it is it did look like it did seat pretty good the gasket anyways so it's basically just one thing i'm gonna have to watch and kind of just figure out eventually how to Get it on but I did end up dropping the rest of the exhaust yeah it's they're not sitting overly low not too low can still lower the car probably an inch you can get away with it just have to be careful going over bumps and that but otherwise they fit very good and very loud right now just straight pipe definitely have to get midsection and back done yeah but definitely have to have a lot of patience putting these on it'll probably take at least a couple full days otherwise any questions just leave them in the comments and hopefully soon i'll have another video